tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to create a parent-teacher conference scheduler. You can either email me and I can share this with you or you can create your own Google form. Once you've got the template that I created or if you create your own you can skip this part but um, you can come in here click on any of this and change it so I would like to change this to Mr. Weir's conference for first quarter change any of this if you want to delete it you come down here and click this delete button student's name if you want to change any of the times you can if you want to add any more times you come to the last one and just hit enter and you can create a four o'clock time like that if you don't want any of these dates you can click on one of the dates and come down and you should see it at garbage can um, also if you want to give yourself a break between parent teacher conferences you can remove any of these as well just by clicking the X's down here I have I would prefer a phone conference If you don't want this one again click the trash can and find the best phone number to call click on it and get rid of that if you want to add different dates or more dates to it instead of retyping everything you can click on a date and then highlight or hover over this duplicate click it and then you can just edit that date once you have your form created you're going to want install an add-on so you're going to come over here to these three dots you're going to come down here to add-ons and the add-on you're searching for is called Choice Eliminator 2. So you're just going to click this free button. You need to select the account that you want to be able to use it with. You're going to want the account that you're currently using. Click on your name. Scroll down to the bottom. Say allow. All it's doing is allow, allowing this add-on to have access to the email, which you need it to in order to send it to people, and allow to view your file your form in Google Drive. Click Allow. You're gonna, this sign should pop up. You're gonna say, I got it. And then right up here, you're gonna click Add ons. And you should see Choice Eliminator. Go ahead and click Choice Eliminator. And you're gonna hit Configure. This note keeps popping up. Go ahead and delete it. They're creating a new one. We will probably have a follow up video once that happens. Now you need to select the dates that you want Choice Eliminator to be on. The default will be not checked, but I do want my choices to be eliminated starting on this date. Also on Tuesday, I want choices to be eliminated, and I want choices eliminated here. You wouldn't want to eliminate choices for the preferred phone call simply because what that would do is the first person to enter their phone number, it would automatically eliminate that choice, then nobody else would be able to enter their phone numbers. The other thing that you can do is right over here, after clicking eliminate choices you click this choice options pull up a new box you can limit how many choices per time if you wanted to obviously we only want the one because we want don't want to duplicate meeting times once you're done with that you're going to go back to your form you're going to click on your choices and for whatever reason the Choice eliminator makes these required. You're going to want to uncheck the required. The reason for that is because if they're all checked, if the required is checked, then each parent would have to sign up for a time at every single date. And you don't want them to have to do that, and that wouldn't be beneficial anyway. Once you've got those unchecked, you're going to go up to settings. 
and you want to make sure that you don't because you don't want parents to have to sign in you're going to uncheck this restrict to users um, in snowflake domain or whatever your domain is and then you're going to hit save once you're done with your form you've unchecked that the next thing options are to send it you click send you can send it by email by typing in their email address if you've created a group which you probably should do like I could just type in third grade um, I could just type in third grade parents and it would send it to all of my parents at once another choice is to copy that link and then you can also send that via text or whatever you can also shorten the link which really is still quite long um, you can share it through Facebook, Twitter, whatever else you would like to share it out. Anyway, a couple things of advice. I would not include the form in an email. Because this is a web document, if it's sent via email, it's not constantly being updated. You want parents to not have to not all access the form at one given time. Because if you do, that means the choices haven't been eliminated. What I'm going to do is go ahead and send it to my parents and via email. And then I'm going to send them all a text saying, hey, you can sign up digitally for a parent-teacher conference. In, in your email, just check your email and you can schedule that. Um, I'm hoping that I don't get duplicates. I've never done this before. So my disclaimer is I've had two teachers tell me they've gotten duplicates. The only thing I can think of, because I've seen it work, is that the duplicates are being caused because parents are opening up the email at the exact same time. Or if one parent opens up the email or opens up the link and doesn't click on it for a while and then other people get on it they take that person's choice but because it's a website it hasn't been updated or refreshed then they select it later on I don't know why else it would not be working so this is my first try as well but that is all there is to it